Okay, so today we're going to make some sourdough bread, okay, different than the regular bread I showed in the previous videos. And this is a sourdough starter culture. All I did here is I added equal amounts of flour and water, purified water. What you do is you mix it up every day for about a week. We did this last Thursday, today's next Tuesday. So this is actual liquid mixture of flour and water. Some of the bacteria that actually grows from there makes that sour smell. In order to make your recipe, we're going to use one cup of whole wheat flour, two and a half cups of white bread flour. I already measured it out in this Tupperware. Mix that in. There's no yeast in this recipe, unlike the other recipe that we made that uses about a quarter teaspoon of yeast. The reason why we don't need yeast is it's already growing into the sourdough mixture. So I'm just going to mix up the dry ingredients so we get a good consistency of all the solids. Next, what we're going to do is mix in the liquid ingredients. For, and we also have to do one and a half teaspoons of salt. Let's make sure we get the salt in there. <coughs> this is one teaspoon. And a half teaspoon. So one and a half teaspoon of salt with, again, one cup of whole wheat flour, two and a half cups of regular bread flour. Okay? Just mix that up. Okay, now for the wet ingredients. We're going to do one and a half cups of water and only a quarter cup of this starter. A quarter cup is not much because there's already yeast in there, it's growing. So let's measure our water first. One and a half cups of water. I'm going to put it in a empty beaker. These are half cups. What I like to do is to put the cup and a half of water first. Then put the quarter cup of the starter, mix it in with the water first, and then mix that into the dry ingredients. Quarter cup, I'm going to actually eyeball it. What you want to do is stir this up before so you get a good consistency. We're going to need a quarter cup, which is about half of that. Now the reason why I'm mixing it in the water first is it's easier to blend into the solid later on. Mix that in and then just mix the wet into the dry. Like that. And just mix this up. You don't have to fold it in, no kneading necessary here. You just want to mix in all the solid and wet ingredients, just scrape against the sides. When this fully mixes, you're just going to let it sit from 8 to 18 hours. It's a pretty lenient recipe here. You could make this in the morning and then have bread ready for dinner that night. I usually make this dough at night, about 8 o'clock at night, and then the next day I'll just bake the bread after. Okay. The exact same steps apply at this point to the other videos you can see in my page called Making Bread. Okay, so essentially you wait 18 hours, you mix it into each other, for two hours more you let it rise, after that you bake it in a 500 degree cast iron skillet, and leave that in for 30 minutes, after the cast iron skillet for 30 minutes with the lid on, take the lid off for about 10 more minutes. And that's how you make sourdough bread. Any questions, leave a comment down below, or just shoot me an email at kaminskyl at hayscisd.net.